spinning event that takes place. So people coming from all over South Africa, Ziwala, ever since then. Who's going to be the champion? What's going to happen? Are we going to see some drama? Are there going to be some people on fire? Arrasi. These are the things that I hear through Spina Kulufa. I'm excited to be here. I can't wait till I'm coming. I'm going to spin. I'm going to say stunt. The 2014 World Spin is no different. We, we actually, I think, bettered what we, what we did last year. Uh, everything that we're doing uh, in terms of the budget comes from directly from our own pockets. Last year's budget, we're looking at about 250000 that we spent on the event, including spinners, including accommodation, including the legalities. Everything that 250,000 came out of my own pocket. Before you can organize an event of this nature, I mean, you have to go through the legal, the legal route. If we remember, I can't remember which year was it, but in uh, somewhere in FNB, I remember that stampede where people who fall on top of each other. So there was a law that was put out by the government you know, in order for you to host an event. Uh, there's certain rules that you, uh, there's certain guidelines that you need to go through. So we had to go through those guidelines. You know, for us, it was the first time making an event. And I already started with the event. If I knew, because halfway, you know, closer to the event, I found out what are the things that they require, they were requiring out of me. And I never actually budgeted for those things. Uh, so like, it was, uh, what, how should I put it, a catch-22. I can't leave it. Uh, I can't say, you know, I'm not, we're not going to go on with the event because there's already some of the money that's been outlaid already. So we have to go, whatever that they want, of which we didn't know where to get what went where, but we had to make sure that we carry on with the event. We, we comply with what they were, they were looking for. Firstly, you'll go to your, if my memory serves me right, you'll go to a local police station and then you'll form them in writing. Uh, we as Battle Events Management, will be having an event on the 2nd of August. And then they take that, they put it in file, and then they give you a form. That form you need to apply through this a province. And then where you will be naming the objectives of the event, what are you hoping to achieve with that event, the number of people anticipated on the event. So you fill all those in, and then from there, they'll categorize your event, if it's a low risk or high risk or medium risk event. So they categorize the event and then you take that data, you go to um, disaster management. They'll give you a form to fill that and then you take those supporting documents like the event has been categorized. Then the, the meeting starts. You know, and then you start having meetings, and then that's your plenary meeting. They'll have, they want your security. You know, it should be a private uh, company. So they'll be doing your operational plan, your security plan, and then your EMS. Uh, you know, they must bring your EMS plan. So you, all of those you pay for. So a guy just, uh, any security company or any uh, medical service company cannot just give you those things without you paying for, for those things. And you need to appoint the safety officer. And uh, there's a whole lot of things that, go, that goes into it. It's our baby's second birthday, yes, but the baby's turning one. As odd as, as it might sound, yes, it's the baby's turning one, but it's the second birthday of the annual 2014 Valspin Fest. The Valspin Fest. 2nd of August, I think, is the biggest date on the calendar for all spinners. The last spin phase 2, 2nd of August, I think every spinner has worked for this whole year, pushing to making this car to be the best out there, to perform the best and to highlight his talent. About one spoon first, what I can say it's to support our fellow colleague, fellow spinner. Yes, that's the first thing which comes up to my mind when I wake up in the morning. That okay, fine. Today, when is it's happening in Val, I need to be there. Yes, yes. 
that's how the Vals Pig Fest. Sure. <laughs> Excited even if he wants the word for the Vals Pig Fest. Why? Because it's like one of the bigger shows for the year that I have to attend. Like every spinner has to attend. With the Spin Fest 1, we've worked ourselves up. With Spin Fest 2 coming up now, I think my biggest challenge is for, 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 for Sarah and myself would to have our car to be at this peak. The two of us being a team, we, 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 we sort of worked towards getting to events. Um, our biggest excitement was the Vast Spin. Looking forward to that one, um, preparing our cars. What do you do to prepare for the Valspin Fest? Well, basically I had uh, 15 shows that I had to attend before the Valspin Fest. So wow. the adrenaline started pumping every single show that I attended. And also meeting the spinners across country, going to meet up there, challenging each other, um, yet at a friendly level, giving that entertainment to those 15,000 to 18,000 people that's going to be there. For me, Spoon Fest um, series will always be one to be noted and to be on a calendar for most spinners. Nifa is on the right track. If you do your marketing, uh, yes, that's also, paid. that's also important. If you get your marketing right, or your, your, for, for promoting your show, then you're on the right track. By Lefa coming to me and saying, Tiki, why don't we make the mother of an event? But we have to give it some kind of meaning. The, the, the people who would participate at Valspin Fest, I, I wanted them to feel a sense of, of pride, of, of knowing that this is the ultimate uh, a spinning event. If, if you're in the Valspin Fest... <laughs> I think if we would have more, more spinning events, like the Spin Fest 2 in, say for example, in Pumalanga or Namibia or in Cape Town, it, it would create such passion. Because at, at present we only have it in Gauteng. Now if we had to move Spin Fest to Durban, for example, or even maybe featured in, in, in one of the top gay festivals, that would be the ultimate dream for most spinners to be able to go and compete like the Top Gear Festival and showcase to the world, not just to that little town that we are having it in. I would like to see my spinners, the people who are in this industry, getting recognition, the recognition they deserve. I, I, I feel, I feel, I feel Dickie's Lounge is a bridge. Uh, it's introducing the spinners, the talented people in this industry to let's say I'm a sponsor is because somebody has to show them what these guys are doing. The, the talent that we have, because that's what Spoon is all about, is to showcase talent, to show the country, this is who we are, this is what we are capable of doing. And if we should be able to just feature like a five minutes on the top gear, it would show the world who we really are. I think my proudest moment will be when there's a major sponsor that now decides to coin certain aspects of spinning. When that happens, I'll be very happy. I'll say, you know what? This is what I've been working for a very long time. And I know for a fact, I'm also wishing for a very long time. Blowing my trumpet. I think, I think when we get to that point, I'll stand proud and I'll say, this is what we were working for. We come from a long way, but we still have a bit of a, a way to travel before we get to where we go. So people can, if you're tall like me, 
he's standing uh, next to or behind somebody shot so that person can't see so we had people complaining that they you know i paid that money but i couldn't see nothing there so after last year i said if i don't get a place with grandstand or if we don't get any assistance with grandstand i'm not even gonna start with devil spin first champions i think it's it's great that people can come from all over to come and just unite with one spin yeah yeah I'm from uh, the club called uh, Cape Town Crew. I'm Munir Damon. I drive the Audi BMW. I'm also from Cape Town Crew. We uh, left Cape Town yesterday at 12 o'clock. We've been driving through the night to get here to your place to do uh, this big event tomorrow, spinning event here tomorrow. And uh, took us about uh, 17 and a half hours to drive. All in all, the trip cost per car about 15,000 rand to be here. But for the love of the sport, we'll do it any time. And now I know there's a, there's, a, there's a festival happening at the bar that is coming up. It's on, it's on Facebook, it's all over the place. And are you going to be playing there? Yeah, definitely. What, what can we expect from you? So, this is a short... Uh, short, a short short taste. <laughs> events 
where words cannot express the adrenaline that goes through the soul just to be there and to be part of that spoon fest. As you can see, this is the venue where tomorrow there'll be the biggest event, the biggest spinning event to ever take place. Thank <laughs> you. 